Hello everyone, Master Zeon 101 here. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the sort modifiers in Hard Ops, as well as uh, some of the updates that have been pushed for today's update. Um, when it comes to the bevel modifier, it has a hard and normals parameter that can um, help the bevel modifier make the normals look better after the fact. However, um, it also can cause some shading issues. So we added a toggle to actually turn that off, but also the sort modifiers is synced up. However, right here, you can see sort modifiers is turned off. It's also now turned off here. Um, if we turn it back on with the control tilde, you can see it's also turned back on here. And what that means is that if we were to press Q, jump into C sharp and add some segments on here and we turn sort mods off, whenever we do a cut, we actually add a cut on top of the bevel. Um, which is what we want in cases where you want to control shift click to actually add a new bevel on top of that allowing you to cut and then go back and turn off sort mods in order to make a new cut and bring in a subsequent new bevel and basically isolate the bevels of a particular area um, at, on your, at your own will. Um, we can press Control shift b and bring up the bevel helper where you can see that I'm able to toggle these off um, in any order. However, if I turn these off on and off from the back, you can see that things get a little bit stranger. However, if I turn it off uh, decrementing down the stack, it makes a little bit more sense. So with that, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, look at this more in depth. All right, so getting started. So Hard Ops has received some quality of life improvements as well. So if we press Q and C sharp it, we'll just um, add a C sharp and a B width of six segments. If we look at the control tilde helper, you can see sort modifiers here. There's also been a checkbox added for turning off and on hard and normals, which can be handy for what I'm about to be showing. The sort modifiers here is synced up with the same sort modifiers here and also sync that with any other sort modifiers to ensure that they're all working in tandem the exact same way. So without further ado, uh, I'll go in here and we'll turn off sort mods and we're just gonna push down a couple of box cuts. And instead of adjusting the bevel, we're gonna use control and shift to show how we recently fixed a bug that was going on with the um, adding a new bevel. And from here, we still have sort mods off, which means that Anytime we're cutting, we're cutting on a new level. However, if we go in here in the Q menu and we hold Control and Shift and click on B with, we will add a new one that will affect only the most recent cuts. Also, I'm receiving a phone call. So continuing working at this level, now that phone call is over, we have sort mods off, which means that the next cuts we do will be cuts that do not affect any of the bevels they're just cuts being stacked up and we can control shift add another bevel of course with this type of workflow you want each of your subsequent bevels to be smaller than the previous ones but we'll just keep creating some sub cuts here just random cuts just to show you what's going on here And every single one of these cuts represents an area that's going to be grabbed by the new bevel that's going to be added on top. So if we press Q and Control Shift click on B with, we'll add another bevel where we can minimize this down ever so slightly. And in fact, if we uh, Control Tilde turn on sort modifiers, you can see that because of the uh, synchronization between hard ops and box cutter, that everything will just be corrected at the time of instantiation, which just makes this workflow a lot easier. Uh, alternatively, we could have you going through the stack, but that's just not as intuitive. Uh, being able to work iteratively and forward is the goal, of course, um, when it comes to using our tools. So right here, I'll just make it a little bit smaller and we'll control D, turn off sort, or uh, control tilde, turn off sort, and we'll just do a sub cut here maybe a little bit deeper. We don't want to cut into our bevels yet. And we'll just add another bevel on top of that. And we'll just dial that down ever so slightly, making it just small enough. And with control tilde, we'll turn sort back on. 
So the more I press it, the more I see that we may need to automate sort uh, being toggleable sometime in the future. However, uh, we have been discussing those plans internally. Um, so hopefully we'll be coming up with a solution for that sometime down the road. Of course, the goal is to remove every keystroke until there's nothing left but decimated cubes. So just doing our cuts here, sorting is still on. So we're still working on that same level that we were working. Just drawing some cuts with box cutter. Um, I saw someone comment on one of my videos where I was working in hard ops and they're asking, uh, geez, why are you bringing in all these cues when something like box cutter exists? But you know, old habits die hard, but also box cutter is just too easy. You know, like you ever use a tool and was like, you know, that's actually too easy. I, I shouldn't cut that many corners. You know, it's just not fair. That's this tool. So control tilde, we'll turn off sort. And we're definitely getting in deep with our bullions here. So the lag comes in and there's a couple of ways that you're able to uh, work with the lag. Uh, one of them is via working in pause mode. However, um, now that the AMD Threadripper is back to life, I should never be working in pause mode. It's just crazy for me to even fathom the idea of cutting and then seeing it afterwards, especially compared to having it live. Like you see here, even with a little bit of lag, um, it's just marvelous. However, we are always thinking of ways that we can possibly make uh, even this process faster in the future and we are dealing with that in a separate branch that may be coming in the next release so right here I'll be using control shift and we'll just bring that new bevel in to the world ever so slightly we'll turn sort back on and now we have the smallest bevel yet and we're just beveling pressing B and just setting up all our cuts. You can see the normals getting a little bit wacky. However, I'll deal with that at the end. Because of all of our sort, unsort madness, uh, we can't have a weighted normal in the stack actively because it'll just make things weird. However, I realize as I say that, that we could probably actually make that work. Sometimes just talking about something gives me a idea for a possible solution to either that problem or another problem but it never fails. Just talk about it. But that said, Hard Ops and Box Cutter have both been updated. They've received a lot of uh, quality of life improvements. I've, I should be updating the docs as well, um, which should actually reflect this stuff a little bit more. But most of the stuff that we're dealing with is bug fixes and quality of life, so it's not a thrilling right. So we'll take this shape and we'll press Q, and instead of adding a weighted normal normally, we're gonna add via shift, a weighted normal with sharp. And that will get us just the right shading that we want here. And so if I press control shift B, you can see that we have six levels of bevels stacked up. And that was the point of this video, was to just demonstrate how you can stack up your bevels. And by using the control shift tilde, I mean the, the control shift B bevel helper, you see that I'm able to go through and adjust each level of bevel and turn them off and on as we progress through the shape, capture it in these nice little micro bevels. Of course, this sort of workflow can be slightly experimental um, when you have things that are colliding and they cause issues with the angles. These sort of things can occur. Uh, that's one of the debates we have internally on even the validity of this workflow is how we can make this sort of thing work um, even though Every piece of geometry is folding in on itself, but also supportive of the previous piece. But even with us where we are now, our work's never done. We can just keep cutting until this box is no more. But I just wanted to do a video talking about multi-level bevels um, while I'm supposed to be working. And so with that, uh, we'll wrap up this video and I'll see you guys next time.